Programming the distance, midpoint, and slope formulas in the graphing calculator. Three of the most helpful formulas in analytic geometry are the distance formula that finds the distance between two points on a coordinate plane, the midpoint formula that finds the point in the middle between two points, and the slope formula, sometimes referred to as rise over run. All that we need for the, all three of these formulas are two sets of coordinate pairs, one set of coordinate pairs that we call x1, y1, and the other set being x2, y2. Years ago I wrote programs to use each of these formulas on my TI-83 Plus calculator, but I had lost the programs. I have a customer, Eric, in Mississippi who liked my most popular quadratic formula programming video and wondered if I could help him get programs for distance, midpoint, and slope. To do a little research, I did a YouTube search and saw a very good video by a young man who must have been only 12 or 13 when he wrote a program to find both the distance and the midpoint. I took most of his language with slight changes and added the slope component to it to get what I have done on this video. I give credit to YouTube member TI Calc Pro for his fine effort. To start, press the program key labeled PRGM between the apps and VARS keys. This is what I see in my program menu under the Execute submenu, three programs. Arrow twice to the right to the new submenu. We see only one out option, Create New. Press the Enter key. The alpha cursor is blinking. Enter a program name of up to eight characters in length. I chose all three, which stands for three programs in one. Use any name you would like. Press enter. The colon and the blinking cursor lets us know that it's waiting on us to enter a program code. Press the program key between the apps and VARS keys. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option eight, the clear home option. Press enter. Clear home is the command that clears off the calculator's view screen. Alternatively, to save keystrokes, you could have pressed 8 to get here instead of scrolling down to 8 and pressing Enter. Press Enter again. This gets us ready for our next line of code. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input-output submenu. Arrow down twice to the display option, option number 3. Press Enter. Alternatively, you could have just pressed 3 to do the same thing to save keystrokes. Prepare to enter a string of text by pressing 2nd at the upper left of the keypad, then the alpha key directly below it. You'll see the alpha blinking cursor. Enter an opening quotation mark by pressing the plus sign key at the right side of the keypad. Enter the word enter. Press the number 0 key at the bottom of the keypad to get a blank space. Enter X. Turn off the alpha lock by pressing the alpha key. Press the number 1 key. Enter the closing quotation mark by pressing alpha, then the plus key at the right of the keypad. Press enter. It's now waiting for our next line of code. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Press enter to choose option 1, input. Enter the letter A by pressing alpha, then the math key that has the green A above it. Press the enter key. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Go down to option 8, the clear home option. Press enter. Press enter again to get the next line of code. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, the display option. Press enter. Next, enter, enter Y1 inside quotation marks just as we did above to enter X1. Press enter. Press the program key, arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Press enter to choose option 1, input. Enter B by pressing alpha, then the apps key with the green B above it. Press enter. Press the program key, arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 8, clear home. Press enter. Press enter again. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Enter the string of text, enter x2, inside quotation marks as we did earlier for x1 and y1. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. 
Press enter to choose option 1, input. Enter the letter C by pressing alpha then the program key with the green C above it. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option number 8, clear home. Press enter. Press enter again. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Enter, enter Y2 inside quotation marks as we did earlier for X1, Y1, and X2. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Press enter to choose option number 1, the input option. Enter the letter D by pressing alpha then the X to the negative 1 key with the green D above it. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 8, clear home. Press enter. Press enter again. Now we're going to enter the distance formula in the program. Enter the square root sign by pressing second, then the x squared key on the left side of the keypad. Now enter the expression from the distance formula exactly as shown. Pay special attention to the parentheses. Getting the parentheses wrong will really mess up this program. Next, press the storage key labeled STO just above the ON key at the bottom left of the keypad. We will store the distance to the letter E by pressing alpha, then the sign key with the little green E above it. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Press second, then alpha to place the alpha lock on. Then type in the distance is inside quotation marks as shown. Press the alpha key to turn off the alpha lock. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, the display option. Press enter. Now enter 16 minus signs enclosed within quotation marks as shown. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Enter the letter E for distance by pressing the alpha key then the sign key to access the green E above it. Press enter. Press the program key. From here instead of going to the input output submenu to the right we arrow down to the pause option, option 8. Press enter. This line will cause the program to pause to show the distance before going on to the next calculation. Press enter again. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 8, clear home. Press enter. Press enter again. Now we'll enter the midpoint formula. For the mid x coordinate, enter a plus c in parentheses divided by 2 as shown. Then press the storage key above the on key, then the letter g by pressing alpha, then the tangent key labeled tan with the green g above it. Press enter. Now enter the formula for finding the x, co the y coordinate by taking b plus d wrapped in parentheses divided by 2 as shown. Now press the storage key above the on key, then the letter H. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Enter the text as shown inside quotation marks. The midpoint is. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Enter 16 minus signs wrapped inside quotation marks as shown. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Show the X and Y midpoint coordinates by pressing G, then a comma, 
then H as shown. Press enter. Press the program key. From here arrow down to option 8. Pause. Press enter. Press enter again. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 8. Clear home. Press enter. Press enter again. Now we enter the formula for slope by entering D minus B inside parentheses divided by C minus A inside parentheses. Then enter the storage key, then M. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Enter the text as shown. The slope is inside quotation marks. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3 display. Press enter. Now enter 16 minus signs inside quotation marks as we did twice earlier as shown. Press enter. Press the program key. Arrow once to the right to the input output submenu. Arrow down to option 3, display. Press enter. Enter M for slope so the program will display the slope. Press enter. Congratulations, your program is now completed. Let's clear to test the program by pressing second, then quit. Press the program key. It's opened to the execute submenu. This is the program we just wrote, all three. Press enter. Press enter again. It's asking us to enter x1. Let's consider the two points 1 comma 4 and negative 3 comma 12. We'll enter the number 1 for x1. Press enter. Enter the number 4 for y1. Press enter. Enter negative 3 for x2. Press enter. Enter 12 for y2. Press enter. We get a distance between the two points of about 8.94 units. Press enter again. This negative 1 on top and the 8 on the bottom mean that the midpoint x coordinate is negative 1 and the midpoint y coordinate is 8. Press enter. The slope between the two points is negative 2. Before ending this video, I want to try a special case evaluating two more points, 3 comma 4 and 3 comma 6. Between these two points, the distance is 2, not surprising since one point is two units above the other point. And the midpoint is the point 3 comma 5, since 3 comma 5 is the halfway point or midpoint between these two points. After we press enter again, we get this error message, divide by 0. We get this message because in the slope formula, x2 minus x1 is 0, meaning that the slope between the two points is no slope, infinite slope, or undefined. I just want to show you this so you won't be freaked out when you enter coordinates and see this happen, so you'll understand what's going on. This has been Programming the Distance, Midpoint, and Slope Formulas in the Graphing Calculator. Thanks for viewing.